Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Might and Magic. The original one came out back in 1986. This is a, uh, a role-playing game. Uh, we'll be assembling a party and trying to save the world of Terra, I think is the name of the place. Um, so yeah, so this is the first in the, uh, the, the massive Might and Magic franchise developed by John Van Kenog. Kenigan? Something like that. Uh, Kenigan, there he is. Uh, yeah, and so, obviously, Might and Magic is... We all know about Might and Magic. There is a, a plethora of, of Might and Magic. There's like, what, 10 or 11 Might and Magic games? And then you have, uh, of course, the Heroes series, and then there's there's even more uh, branched off of that, all sort of in the same universe. Uh, well, not even in the, really in the same universe uh, with Might and Magic. It was bought, by, of course, by 3DO, and then Ubisoft um, ransacked it, and, um, and now we have... Uh, well, let's we'll play the first one and see where it all began. So, uh, yeah, let's jump on here, and... and Am I ready? Well, I sure am. The press render. Okay, so yeah, this is... If you've never played this one, or never seen this one, you've probably seen something Might and Magic, like I would imagine, where it's... Uh, we're, we build a party. We're going to build a party of heroes, think Dungeons & Dragons style. Uh, I think there's a lot of Lord of the Rings inspired things here. Uh, and we're going to be running around uh, kind of like old Bard's Tale style, trying to beat monsters and equip our party and get loot and, and save the world. Uh, so let's go ahead and view the characters. So it gives you some characters already when we start the game. I've actually created a couple. Notice Nook and El Tinti in here. Uh, let's go ahead and build a party. Uh, sure. So let's uh, actually you know, let's, let's remove some folks first. Sir Galand, we're gonna delete this guy. Uh, that way, yes, I'm sure. We're gonna delete. Uh, we're gonna build a whole new party of. Uh, you know, we could just rename them, I suppose. We got Nook, Otinti. I don't know if I enough names for this. Serena. So uh, my. Um, um. Let's see. Rename is Control N. Your name's going to be Jimmy. Mm, Jimmy. There we go. Jimmy the uh, the cleric. Jimmy the good human cleric. Sure. Sounds good to me. We've got uh, my robber, my thief. What's my thief's name going to be? My thief's name is going to be... Um, name we haven't used in a long time. Poojin will be my thief. Uh, we've also we got... Look, we, we're going to have to have... We have to have one of every class. We, uh, we'll have an archer here. We also need... What am I missing? Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, so we got, uh, Xenon the Third, my archer. Uh, no, what should an archer's name be? We're gonna go with, uh, <laughs> I'm out of, I'm out of names. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think this, uh, oh, oh, Bob Ross. Bob Ross will be shooting barrows from the, uh, from the back. Sure, uh, yeah, we have a sling. You're my, an evil orc archer, Bob Ross is. Yeah, he is. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and create a new one. So, the way we do this is we just sort of randomly roll things here and hopefully get something that we want. Uh, what are we missing? Paladin. We're missing a paladin. Um, yeah, we could use one of those. So, paladins want... I don't remember what they want, but uh, I'm assuming we need might. Uh, probably a bit of... of um, accuracy, maybe? Let's get one that has a good might. Be pre on this, get a good might. There we go, 14. That seems alright. Endurance, 15. Personality, 15. Yeah, good personality. Sure. Make a paladin. We're going to have a uh, a gnome paladin. And he's going to be a good paladin. He'll be a male. And his name is going to be... Um, um, I'm, I'm out of names. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, Frank. Frank the paladin is going to join in here and help us out. So, okay. So, we've got a, a, a squad of people now. So, let's jump in. With all of our people, we want so that, now we're gonna select our characters to join on this on this endeavor, and it's important that we pick these guys in the correct order because we want to make sure our frontline guides are in the front lines and the backline guys are in the you know the back lines. So we're gonna have Frank up at front. Uh, wrong button, Control A, right? Frank's gonna go in first. Second is going to be myself because I am a uh, a, a knight. Uh, me, and then after myself is gonna be the cleric. Which was Jimmy, right? And then we're gonna have our rogue go next, was which was Poojin, I believe. And then Bob and Ontinti are my archer and my sorcerer. So we're gonna throw, uh, so throw my sorcerer in, and Bob is gonna go in. There's our party. Ex let's leave the inn. All right, to the game. So yes, this is very, very old and uh, reminds me of Bard's Tale. I never played the original Ma Might and Magic. I did play Bard's Tale back um, a, a long time ago. Uh, so we've got a party of people here, and we can do we can take a look at them. 
Um, so we've got Frank here. Frank, our gnome paladin, is, is wielding a club at the moment. We want him, I guess not, not even wielding, he's not in his backpack. So we want to put it in his hands. So let's go ahead and equip that club and put it in our hands. Uh, next up, we've got Nook. Same thing. Equip that club, buddy. Why do we have clubs? Um, next up, I think because I re-rolled everybody, because sometimes whenever you start people out, they actually come up with, with proper things. I can't my, uh, oh, you're a robber. Uh, my gnome sorcerer has a club. You don't really need a club. I, I think you're fine. We just cast spells back there. And then we've got Bob Ross, my orc archer, with a sling for some reason. Maybe we can find one uh, later on. We all have zero gold, so we're all broke, obviously. Um, so let's just go and uh, and walk in. So we started out in this this um, uh, no, we started in this this little room here. You can see I'm looking left, looking right, looking straight ahead. We're gonna walk through the door. And as you see, my door is now behind me. We have a door over here which reads me. This is Ulard's. Ulard's fine food if we want to buy some food for the trek. Uh, over here we have a blacksmith. I don't have any money though, so we can't buy anything. So let's just continue on and walk. So we're going to walk forward. It's kind of hard to tell if you don't know what buttons you're pushing, which way I'm looking. Oh, already? We found some sprites. Okay, our first battle. This is exciting. Uh, we want to attack the thing. Combat. All right, so he's going to go and try to do his thing. Now, we're going to roll through our... So this is where we are standing here. We've got uh, we got Frank and Nook in the front lines. You can see down here. Jimmy is over here. We've got Pujin on this side, and Ontinti and Bob Ross are in the back. So Bob Ross, standing in the back, is going to fling his his rock at Sprite A, and apparently he missed. Uh, <laughs> number four is Pujin, who's also going to attack uh, and 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 uh, miss, I guess. All right, Frank, come on, Frank. What, 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 uh, swing and kill things. Uh, so we've got Jimmy. Jimmy is a cleric. Jimmy doesn't really do much as a cleric. Where's my, I got a, um, where's my helpful, helpful tips here? Uh, where'd they go? I lost my helpful tips. I have my cleric spells. Where'd they go? I had them pulled up here. I don't know where they went, though. It's very important that I have these things, uh, pulled. There's Sorcerer. Um, I don't know where my cleric spells went. One second. There they are. Okay, here we go. Okay, so yeah, it's it's really um, you kind of have it's. Remember these old games? Those of those of us old geezers remember this. You have to have you have like maps. You would draw maps out on graph paper when you play these kind of games. You would have um, yeah, like take notes while you're playing the games. Why don't we have games like this anymore? Um, so priests don't really do any kind of kind of fighting. I mean, we can do like uh, turn undead. These things aren't aren't undead. We can um, blind. So let's blind. Let's cast a spell. Cast a spell. We're going to cast spell number th level one. Spell number three. We're going to blind uh, Sprite C. There we go. We, we got him blinded. Excellent. All right, uh, Nook. I want you to swing. Um, am I doing something wrong? I fought things before, and it, and it worked before. Okay, Ontinti. I need you to cast some things. Ontinti, the sorcerer. We're going to cast uh, Flame Arrow, which is, which is number four. Spell number four. And we're going to burn Sprite A. Takes one point. Oh, we got we got him wounded. So there is something. All right, uh, Bob Ross, can you please shoot and kill B? I can't read what it's saying. Let me slow it down. Uh, control. Yeah. Let me slow it down here. I just can't see what it's saying. Uh, Pujin is my. Uh, why don't you, what's fight? Fight B. Misses. All right. Uh, hmm. Can we hit something today? Can we? Uh, Frank. Can we kill us? Mm, cast. Uh, you're a healer. I don't need you doing anything. Just, uh, yeah, just go for the, um, the blind again. It's blind B. Not affected. Ah! Um, attack. Is it saying misses? It is saying misses. I don't even give me a chance to swing at somebody. Alright, well, let's, um, let's do, what was that, four flame arrow? Let's four, let's flame arrow that first guy again. One point of damage. Oh, yeah, we got one point of damage. Cast a curse, fails. Six points of damage on us. Ooh. Ooh. Um, how are we feeling? Hit points. Where's my hit points? Where's my hit points? Condition good. Everyone's condition appears to be good. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Um, yeah, all good, right? Is that, uh, is that hit points right there? Bob Ross has 12, everyone else has, has, a, has a very low amount. Maybe we should, like, run away. Let's, let's run away. Okay, we ran away. Okay. 
That's an exciting first encounter. Let's uh, let's do something a little more exciting here. Uh, <laughs> something that we can actually kill. What's over here? Uh, Auto's training. Maybe we need to go in here. For you, various groups uh, engaged in training exercises. Warg, the guildmaster, asks, "Do you require training?" "Yes, I do." It's going to cost me a lot of money. Well, I don't have any money, Warg. I'm sorry. No training, apparently. I leave me alone. No. Where am I? Oh, I'm in his house. I'm in his, in his place. Okay. Back over this way. What is this? This is a tiny little closet. We don't want this. I did actually pull up a map. Um, to try to figure my fine way around here, but now I'm so turned around, I have no idea what it is. So let's go. Nothing? Nothing? We're lost. We're lost in a maze of a town. Let's go this way. This way. Somewhere in here, there is a, uh, a downstair, which leads us into scary parts. Maybe we're not ready for that just yet, but we're going to hopefully try for it. Uh, oh, the temple. Yes. Uh, yes, I do need help. I could use some healing. Cost 25 gold. I don't have any gold. How do I get gold? Um, no, I don't. I need to go kill something and then loot it. That's what we need to do. Let's go this way. I know it's hard to tell which way I'm, I'm actually walking. I don't even know which way I'm walking here either. Um, let's go. Am I like inside here? Okay, so let's go this way. I might know where I'm at. Over here. And down this way. Going down. There's the stairs going down. Yes. Take the stairs down. Okay. Into the basement. It's very dark in here. However, we have a sorcerer. Uh, so, who's my sorcerer? Sorcerer is Ontinti. A sorcerer. Ontinti, I need you to cast a spell. Cast me. Level 1 spell. I want you to cast me a light. And there we go. We can see. Because we have a sorcerer casting spells. Excellent. Let's walk this way. It's locked. Um, let's rest. Rest here. Yeah. No encounters. Good. Um, do you have hit points now? How can I tell? Where is the quick reference? Yeah, hit points seem to be going back up. Okay, back up at 12 for Frank, 12 for Nook. Okay. I think we're in good shape now. Um, oh, well, oh, OTD, I need to cast that spell again. Cast that level 1 and 6. There we go. Okay, um, can we go? Oh, we did go inside the door. The door. Alright, let's keep on going this way. Anything scary out here? Scary things? There's a door. Encounter. We have rotting corpses attacking us. Okay, let's get them. Combat. All right, we can do it this time. We're not not making a fool of ourselves this time. Um, Bob Ross, throw that rock at A. There you go. There you go. There is damage. Let me slow this down a little more. I can, yeah, I'm at like 277 cycles. Really slow. <laughs> uh, okay, good job. Uh, next up, we've got Poojin. Poojin, you're my rogue. I want you to go ahead and finish off this guy. Shoot this guy. Um, so you can see who's in melee. The plus signs by means they're in melee with whoever. Um, we're going to hit A and finish him off. Shoots, and I think he missed. Uh, Frank. Attack. For four points of damage. Okay, very good, very good. Um, Jimmy, I want you to... If I... Fight. A. Tax him for what? It's too dang... <laughs> this game, it's like this game was made in the 80s. Uh, Nook, I want you to attack. Five points of damage. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Uh, Untinti, I'm going to have you cast a spell. We're going to cast level one spell. We're going to cast a... What else can we do? Oh, sleep. Yeah, you want to cast sleep on... Um, can I do multiple ones? On B. Oh, not affected because it's a corpse. Corpses don't fall asleep. <laughs> oh, you know what? I have a cleric. What am I doing? Cleric. He has a uh, uh, turn on dead. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Rotting corpse chops at Nook for damage. Does Jimmy six times seven points of damage on Frank? Frank, don't die. Waits for an opening. Yeah, he's hanging on the back. He can't attack. Round two. Okay, we're good. We're good. We've got who's up first? Bob Ross. I want you to fling that rock like you've never flung it before at that first guy. You mean, well, you're supposed to hit the thing. Uh, Poojin, I'm going to have you go ahead and do your, sh your shooting as well. Shoot the first guy. Will you stop missing everything? Frank, um, attack. Oh, we killed something. Two points of damage. We killed something, finally. Uh, we've got Jimmy. Jimmy. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to cast. We're going to cast level one spell. Turn undead. Some monsters were destroyed. Yeah, way to go, Jimmy. All right, Nook. Uh, we're going to attack again. You're going to hit things, buddy. I guess attack is just sort of a random attack. Oh. oh no. Oh no. 
Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh, who's up? Oh, Tinty. Um, I need you to, um, cast Leather Skin. Uh, level one, five. There you go. So, yeah, toughen us up a little bit. We probably should have done it before we got, you know, attacked by things. Level three. So, they're unconscious, I believe. They're not dead, right? You guys are just, yeah, you're unconscious. Not dead yet, but it's okay. We got a cleric. No problem. We got a cleric in, uh, in, in Jimmy, but Bob Ross is going to shoot some things. He's going to shoot this frog, this corpse here. He's going to miss. Um, we got Poojin here who could who could step up. Let me get my arrow here. Uh, can you see my cursor? Yeah. He can, he can step up and take places, take the place of Nook. Um, oh, Jimmy's down. I got the, I looked at that wrong. Jimmy's down. Nook is fine. Mm, okay, we have to kill this thing. Quickly. Poojin, I need you to um, exchange places with with one. There you go. Get up there and fight things. Nook is taken down. Uh, Pujin is... Um... Uh... <laughs> cast. Uh, um... Um... Flame Arrow. Wait, what's Energy Blast? Zaps one monster for one to four damage. Yeah, let's try that one. Energy Blast. Oh, not enough. Oh. Okay, we won't do that one. Uh, cast... Uh... Can you have enough for this one? Yeah, you there's one point of damage. Okay, good. Next. This is round four. We're not looking good. Bob Ross is up. Bob Ross hasn't hit anything the entire fight. Eight points of damage. Nicely done, buddy. This has been a lot better if we actually had some sort of, um, you know, gear and, and, and whatever else. Oh, Tinti, I need you to cast uh, a level one spell. And... If I hit... I, I have a spell called Awaken. Not, I wouldn't work. That wouldn't work on them, would it? Probably not. Let's just um, let's just flame arrow again. Two points. Are you not dead yet? Die already. Infiltrates the ranks. They're trying to. S oh, you're chopping at Odin Tinti, my my. Oh, Bob Ross. We're gonna die, aren't we? <laughs> We're gonna die. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. Fight. A. There you go, buddy. Yeah, there you go, Bob. Um, okay, and OTT, I'm going to have you... I mean, you're useless at at punching things. But perhaps you could... Cast... Not, yeah, are you out of... Yeah, you out of mana. Uh, who are you, five? Zero gems. Uh, where's my mana? I don't know. It says you're in good shape, though. I'm sure you are. Uh, can you equip that club? Or is it too late to, to tell you to do that? Equip uh, A. No, no. All right, all right. Well, just, just, uh, just punch A. No, you didn't punch. Oh, tinti has been taken down. <laughs> Bob Ross is still there. Come on, Bob. We're all counting on you, Bob. Bob, I need you to fight. No, you, Bob. You gotta hit him. Bob. The shadow of death has fallen upon your party. Fortunately, you may renew your last quest from the last inn, which you stayed by pressing enter. <laughs> All right, there we go. We died in our first fight. Oh, come on. We can do a real fight. Wait, wait, 18 minutes? Okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> that was, that's kind of shameful. All right. Um, let's, uh, let's, <laughs> let's try this again. Well, I just want to win a fight. I, you know, I played a little test game. I always play little test games. To try to make sure I know what I'm doing here. And... I, like, we came across, uh, like, a whole herd of snakes. We completely destroyed the snakes. Completely annihilated them. And here we come across when it's recording time, and I get destroyed twice. All right, let's get out of this inn. Get me out of here. I'm hitting X. Get me out of here. There we go. I'm leaving. All right. Oh, you know what? I got to turn this back up. Okay. This way. No, no, no more of those. Um... Come on, Frank. Who goes first? Bob Ross goes first. Bob Ross. Oh, we're all in melee range. Bob Ross, I want you to just punch it with your club. Do you have your club out? Please tell me you have your club out. You don't have your club out, Frank. What good are you if you don't have your, your club out? Um, all right, well, let's just... Uh, Pujin can cast... There's the, the sprites aren't undead. You can give us... 
When you have first aid, we can blind, of course. We can bless to give us some accuracy. Let's do bless. Um, let's cast... What? Uh, oh, Pooja's my, 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 uh, my ranger. Sorry. Uh, yeah, just attack. We're not going to be able to kill these things. We're just going to run away. Okay, we got away. Um, what are these demons doing out here in the middle of town? So let's go ahead and equip ourselves. Uh, equip club. Equip cl club. Okay, you're good. Jimmy's good. Uh, Ontinti. I mean, we'll go ahead and equip the club. And then, because we'll probably end up using it. And, and Bob Ross is good. Okay. All right. Oh, what are you? What are you? A mutant larva and some gnomes? Oh, I'll kill some gnomes. I don't have a problem with that. All right. Uh, Bob, why don't you uh, shoot uh, that uh, that gnome? Ah, oh, Bob Ross shoots the gnome. One rock through the gnome's head, and the gnome is now dead. That was gnome B, by the way. Uh, Pujin is up. Pujin is going to do a... Uh, inspired by the uh, the rock of, uh, of Bob Ross, he's going to kill a mutant larva. Yeah, he has five points of damage. He has no attacks. Nook for five points. Frank for five points. All right, Frank, I need you to really destroy uh, this larva. Yeah, there we go. See, 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 I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I know what I've played this game before. Uh, okay, um, we've got Jimmy, who's going to cast a heal spell. First aid, uh, level one, first aid on, uh, I feel like Nook is probably the more important member of the party here. Done. Okay. Now, Nook, being rejuvenated from the healing spell, is going to swing his club and miss. It was so exciting, Nook, and you ruined it. Uh, I went to cast, um, level one. We're going to cast some leather skin, perhaps would be a wise idea, just in case. Buff ourselves up a little bit. Round two. All right, Bob Ross, let's shoot that gnome. No, Bob Ross, stop, no, no. You, so well last time, and you missed. <clears throat> Pujin. There we go, Pujin. Inspired by Bob Ross's heroics. Now let's fight, and you wound at two points of damage, which is great. Jimmy, uh, you know what, Jimmy? Just, uh, no, you're out of range. You can't do any uh, killing. You can do, um, I guess you can blind them. Uh, let's just bless. Cass, no, 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 we'll, we'll blind them. No one's blinded. Yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. You still hit me for five points. You're blind. You can't hit me for five points when you're blind. Attack. Mm. On Tinti. Cast. Level one. Energy blast. Mm. I want to do energy blast, though. Cast. Uh, level one. Fine, we'll do flame arrow. Once we level up, we can do some really cool things. There we go. We roasted them with a fire bolt from... Uh, from him. We've each gained 70 experience points. Excellent. Now, let's search. You find a cloth sack. Uh, yeah, open it. Who's going to open it? Uh, Nook's going to open it. He's brave. It's worth. Oh, we each get two gold. All right. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Um, let's rest. And no encounters. Good, good. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, this is one of those games that... Um, you, that like hours and hours of playing. This is just like one another mutant larva. Another uh, um, this is like just the very beginning new blame. But once you get out of here, there's different towns. There's different outside things. Um, I was reading, so I was reading some of the info on the game before I started recording. And so um, the dev what was it? I can't remember. The guy. Sorry, I remember the guy's name. But um, actually, now I have it. Where to go? I don't know. Um, one of his inspirations for this game. So obviously, this is this is fantasy style. Um, and some of the Might and Magics had this sort of like sci-fi thing to them. I guess his inspiration for the game was um, an episode of Star Trek, uh, one of the old Star Treks, and um, uh, the Twilight Zone. Uh, all right, Frank, let's... Uh, yeah, there you go, Frank. Welcome to the party, buddy. Uh, Jimmy, just... Uh, you can't attack anything, but you can cast something. You can cast a level one... Um, just, uh, let's just try Blessing. Here we go. Bless us. Why not? It helps our range out. Helps our accuracy. Alright, so Nook is going to go and fight that guy. He's going to miss. On Tinti, I need you to cast another fire, a flame arrow, please. On A. There you go. One point of damage. That's terrible. We're going to destroy all the mutant larvas that we ever have ever seen in this place. And then we're going to loot them. Take more money from them. Uh, I want you to shoot... 
Eh? There we go. Well done, Bob Ross. Nine points of damage with that one. Uh, Pujin, attack. No, Pujin, come on. All right, Frank, I'm leaving it up to you. Mm, four points, not too bad. Not too bad, Jimmy. Um, I'm going to have you cast a... Uh, let's just blind the guy. Oh, mutant larvas are not affected by blindness, apparently. Nook. There you go. Well done, Nook. The party is... Uh, uh, excited, uh, we, we rally around Nook's uh, expertise and whatever. Nothing? Oh, come on now. The jellies have nothing? All right, so I suppose we should probably call it a day here. Anyway, this is my magic. There's our stairs down. Uh, came out. Uh, I was just trying to do the math in my head. How many years ago? A long, long time ago. A very long time ago. <laughs> uh, TNT, I need you to cast me a spell. Cast me a light spell, please. All right, and we're back down here in the in the, uh, the catacombs again. Uh, no. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and um, I will uh, we'll see you next time.